Unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. Nine miles from the courthouse where a jury convicted Derek Chauvin of murdering George Floyd. I'm glad to hear that we have some guilty verdicts here. There was a sense of joy and relief over the jury's decision to send a white officer to prison for killing a black man. It was coming, and I think it was God will. It's enough, it's enough. And I am so happy they, they found him guilty. Dozens gathered Tuesday afternoon outside of the Brooklyn Center Police Department for a previously planned teacher's demonstration over the killing of Dante Wright. He was somebody's student, and so I think that's one reason that a lot of educators specifically feel really connected to Dante Wright because he was somebody's student. The demonstration coincided with the announcement of the verdict, and many watched the scene play out on their phones as it happened. We'll take this minute. You know, we'll take this minute and we'll be thankful for it and we will keep keep working. They'll keep working because while one police officer was held accountable for his actions, relations between law enforcement and the black community still have a long way to go. There's no justice. Um, there will be justice when there are no more George Floyds, when there are no more Dante Wrights, when there are no more Adam Toledos, when there are no more Tamir Rice or Laquan McDonald or Sandra Bland. Sorry, I get really worked up about it, but... That'll be justice. Meanwhile, the three other officers who were at the scene of George Floyd's arrest will face trial on August 23rd on charges of aiding and abetting second degree murder and manslaughter. In Brooklyn Center, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.